New at 10, police officers stop a reckless driver from driving into the path of Thanksgiving Day 5K runners. St. Pete police tell us Fox 13's Kaylee Tracy, if it wasn't for the officers stopping Ashley Morgan at the Coffee Pot Turkey Trot, it would have been a tragic Thanksgiving. Officers say Ashley Morgan was driving close to 60 miles per hour as she approached the 5K course closed to cars. Officers say she ignored their screams for her to stop and she fled driving onto that course. St. Petersburg police say after Ashley Morgan sped away from officers and onto the coffee pot turkey trot course, when they asked her for her credentials at the Snell Isle Bridge, another officer tried to stop her not too far away. Investigators say she ignored his commands too and drove by barricades, two marked cruisers with their emergency lights on and traffic cones set up for the race. Another officer forced her to stop at the intersection of Brightwaters Boulevard and Lamar Way Northeast. The department sent us this statement, which appears in the police report. Quote, if it were not for the officers at the intersection gaining the defendant's attention and forcing her to stop, she would have ignored all traffic safety obstacles strategically placed at the intersection and barreled through the intersection, causing mass casualty to race participants. It is kind of scary because I'm out here, you know, running three days a week, riding my bike a couple days a week. My kids are over here, you know, skateboarding, biking, fishing. So absolutely, it does. It, it is scary. Robert Melson didn't run the 5K, but he lives in the neighborhood. That's pretty astonishing, you know, because this neighborhood is a pretty, uh, it's a quiet neighborhood. You know, people tend to get along here. So to, to hear that somebody would be in that position doing that, it's kind of a little bit unsettling. Police say Morgan also left the scene of a crash nearby where officers say she hit a stop sign. She faces multiple charges, including reckless driving and eluding a police officer. Morgan bonded out of jail last night. When we contacted her, she said she did not want to talk about the incident. According to court documents, she has two previous traffic infractions. They're both for following too closely. Reporting in St. Petersburg, Kaylee Tracy, Fox 13. News. The team that put on the event released this statement that reads in part, on behalf of the North Shore Elementary PTA, we'd like to express our gratitude to the St. Pete Police Department for their quick actions to protect participants in yesterday's Coffee Pot Turkey Trot 5K from a reckless driver.